I, I guess we're talking within the confines of marriage. Let's just start there. If it's a marriage, a man has a responsibility. It's his achrayas. It's his responsibility, if you will, to um, provide uh, 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 to, to, to provide his wife and, and kids and take care of them and have, uh, finance them, if you will. You know, it's the, it's the wife's job to make sure that there's a house prepared for him when he comes home and there's food and blah, 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 blah. Right? That's like the basics. That's a basic financial deal. Uh, but here's the caveat. A man can outsource, they can trade, they can swap positions with each other if they're both cool with it. A woman can be on top. Thank you for that. <laughs> Thank you for that. Okay, so they can swap positions if they're both good with it. You know, if the, um, if the, if the, if the wife says, hey, you know, I want to go to work. I have, more, I have a better job skill set than you. I can actually make more money doing it. You know, and you make a, a really mean, uh, you know, you make really good food. I really like your roast, let's say, right? They swap. No problem. She goes to work. What percentage of men are going to be okay with that? I don't know, but I'm definitely okay with it, and that was that's the agreement I want with my wife. And uh, my sister has that arrangement. They've had it for like 30 years. She's been working the whole time that they've been married, and you know, uh, during much of that time, my brother-in-law was not working. And he was taking care of the kids. It's a lot more common than you realize. I don't think I'd work for. 80% of men. And uh, I don't know about that because Kolel, it's very common that the guy sits and learns all day. But he gets a stipend. He gets like a here in LA, he gets like stipend. Yeah, 40, but it's a Gornage. It's, it's, what? Yeah. I'm joining that. Yeah, $40,000, $50,000. All you have to do is get married. What the heck? Is that how much they charge? They pay now? Yeah. That, that's yeah, really a, year. a lot yeah. more than it ever was before. Wow, that's not bad because I would normally wanted to say that it's it's a gornish, like it's like a it's a pittance what they give in the kolels, and and the wife goes out and you know she works as whatever, and and that's like the kolel, that's the stereotypical kolel life, you know, is the wife's working as like a secretary or receptionist or whatever, and they're not making much money, and he's sitting in kolel and he's he's getting diddly fifty thousand dollars for the LA one, that's some. Okay, here's my offer right now. Who wants to marry me for fifty thousand a year? Jeez, Louise, are you gonna go for that? They'd never accept me. Why not? I'd love that deal. That's a great deal. I'd love that deal. Just sit and learn all day. Sit and learn all day. I'd love it. Okay, so and when you do, I hope you do. You know why? Because I'll never have to hear from you again about how these people are are, are on the public tit. Well, they're not on the public tit. They're getting. They're getting uh, from donations. It's not from the government. But don't. But doesn't it, uh, it? Didn't you hear what I said about how the government cut that deal just so they could get into power? So they made a crooked deal. They said, "Give us money, and uh, you can get into power, and you just give us money." It stinks. Okay. All right. We're not going to cover that anymore. Rabs, please get Luke a phone book to sit on today. He looks like the moral follower from Garden Fun. Is that your friend? I have no idea who it is. I think it's Alan, but I have no idea. Alan? Alan. Alan? I have no idea. It doesn't matter. Nice eyes, lady. It's been a while. Ravs, please get sit on. You, you, you want to? You're fine. You're fine? Okay. Uh, should I send this all to you? No, I don't care. I just scroll down so we can see what the latest is. I didn't really... Uh, is regular secular dating relevant is it relevant? Regular secular dating. Tor observant Jew can date but not kiss or touch. I'm not going to get into that. Some people agree with you. Somebody says that the, uh, the they, they agree with you, some people. If Frummies are having 10 kids each, after a certain number of generations, wouldn't Israel at some point start to become drained? Um, yeah, like in my vital bodily fluids. Um, well, then they shouldn't cut such a deal, huh? <laughs> exactly. My followers need to follow in my teachings. I, you know, th there's a lot of problems in, in the state of Israel, you know. <laughs> um, oh, it is Ellen. How did you know that? I could just tell by the way she spoke. How do you know it is Ellen? Because they said, yes, oh. Ellen. <laughs> <laughs> and then it's P. 
Painted Saint. Hey, Rabs, how's it going? I don't even know who these people are. They're all using like these forgotten names. Okay, but I'll just say hello to them. Hello, Ellen. <laughs> um, wait a minute. It's Oh, okay. Hey, Abvos. Hey, uh, Brandon's in there. I know that. Hector, how is it? D-Medic, how's it going? Ellen, Painted Saint. you have any idea who that is? No. Oh, it's Kim. Hi, Kim. How's it going? All right. So back to your thing with the woman, right? Mm -hmm. You were talking about, we got carried away, we got off topic here. We're talking about the uh, lower and higher levels or whatever. Mm -hmm. And you mm -hmm. felt that these women in Lee Mood LA were above you because Many they made too much money. Yeah. Did it, let me just say this, okay? Let me just get this in. Why can't you tell yourself, you say, lady, I'm at a higher madrega than them in learning. I, ha I am a, a, a convert. I am at a higher level. It says that, you know, that the, the, the converts are the highest level. You know, it's like, because they're the most beloved by God, right? So they go up to a really high level. Why can't you say to yourself, I'm a, I've done the, the footwork. I've done the, I've done the, I have the credentials. I've done the dirty work. I've done the work, and I became a, um, a gear, and, I, and I've turned myself over to God, and I'm at a high madriga, and I learn, and I do all these great things, and I'm Shomer Shabbos, and these women, they don't even keep Shabbos. They're below me. Why can't you talk like that? Why can't you start thinking about that? Why can't you start... Do you need to sit on a phone book? I'll swap chairs with you next year. <laughs> do you ever sit in this chair? Yeah, that's my chair I sit in all the time. But I'm really? giving it to you tonight. I'm willing to swap whenever you're ready. Really? You don't like it? No. Really? Yeah. Uh, we'll do that in a minute or two. <laughs> um, so what are we saying? So why can't you see yourself like that? Like I see, I see some of my good points, but like just like the matter of like getting things done, and paying the bills, and setting up for retirement, and setting up for kids, so you can send them to a Jewish day school and create a Jewish life. I'm just not capable as yet. Like I have a hard time enough just keeping my own life together. Like you know, when their health problems go wrong, just like trying to. Oh, I've got to ride to the airport, and I've got to take this time off because I've got this, and then I've got this obstacle comes up, and my, my vehicle's broken down, and like just like the concrete matters of like getting through the day and paying the rent and keeping up with the health insurance and making sure I have a vehicle that's running and paying for my therapy, and like I'm, I'm struggling just to keep my head above water, let alone these women who are like, you know, flying. You know, in these jets above me while I'm like, you know, struggling to keep my vehicle running, you know, down here. It's, uh... What about this? Why can't you set your sights on a woman who doesn't care about how much money you make or don't make? Well, you've got to care about that because I care like I care to like pay the rent every month and pay my phone bill and oh, okay. pay my health insurance. Like I'm having a hell of a time just doing these things. So, I, like, it would be a nightmare for me to marry a woman who's like me. I don't want a woman who's like me. I want a woman who's conventional. Wait a minute. Isn't what you really want a woman who has a lot of money, who, who can help take you out of your financial state? Well, that would be good, but the money could come and go. If I marry a capable, competent woman, like even if she has no money, then uh, that's like when you get married, it's like you're roped together. And so. Like, if, if you're alone and the Indians come after you, you know, they can attack from behind. But if there are two of you, there's no behind. You're kind of protected against the world. So when the Indians come and attack you, like, she handles this half and you handle the Indians on this half. So if I, I want a capable, competent woman, so even if she's got no money, she's capable and competent. That's someone that I don't mind being attached to. Uh, like, if someone's got a lot of money, but she's got these killer flaws, that are, you know, that say, oh, when the Indians attack, she's going to lie down. Um, she's not going to be, she's going to be a burden around my neck. She's going to be a millstone to me. So I want someone who's formidably competent and capable. Okay. And you don't see that, and when you went to Lee Moon, L.A., just to get, mm -hmm. bring us back to mm -hmm. the, the, topic. the topic, you went to Lee Moon, L.A., what was the problem with these women? The, they weren't interested in me. Oh, so it didn't matter who. <laughs> it didn't matter who they were. They weren't interested. That was the real problem. Yeah, they weren't interested. I mean, like that sucks when you go up and 
you say hi to someone and you start talking to them and they've got zero interest in you. Okay. They ask no questions about you, they don't like 